I received your owl. Come on. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. I feel He's so twisted. Way. I'm like, I'm cheesing right now. I'm so excited. I, Man. So I remember I read an article about how the Keep devs... Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. They didn't want, like, any sort of a meter on good or bad because they wanted you to be able to choose what you wanted to be. And, and you know, the choice of being bad is like a, a cornerstone of that. I never knew how bad I wanted to be able to cast these curses until the idea of this game became there a is. thing. Good luck. Like, I have always, through and through, always tested Gryffindor typically think of myself as a pretty what decent person. Here? I would never murder somebody, but I will Hello, a, a Avada Kedavra the heck have a moment? out of what everyone in this game, what have you and I'm going to enjoy it. Now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. Genius. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? Mm. He told you about that. He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. Reverse psychology. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Interesting. That's a bit unnerving. I'm gonna keep playing. I suppose even Hell's if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I'm so excited. I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! Let's go, buddy! It's These time! These grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three Confirm. heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Don't tell me it was that easy. I saw three... I gotta be honest, I'm a little, little disappointed with that. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Oh. Looks like a locked yeah. door. We may want to look around. And the door's shut behind us. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Knock to a gaunt's note one of five. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, 
and we'll find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows how I access the quarter's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Oh, we're gonna have to use Reparo. Not a big deal, guys. Reparo! There may be something to this pile of rubble. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. I said... The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. My dog. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Send it. I see no reason we should stop now. <laughs> it's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous. You possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Ah, oh, I get it, because we have the ancient magic. Lead the way, brother. Lumos. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. I'm so excited and nervous. So this is an A with a cat, a scratched out cat looking thing on it. Crazier. When the door closed, it lit up. Can bring up. We've got a Slytherin lock there. Note two of five. Salazar Slytherin buried this scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Not to a god. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Do we have to do cat and A on each of them? Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. Lumos. <laughs> Nice work. It's not a cat, but same idea. This is, I'm gonna call that fish and mountain. Extraordinary. The journey is painful, but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we become. I know it. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. I'm assuming that's going to be this. Okay, Fish Mountain or Moon Dragonite. Designed by Salazar Slytherin. Moon Dragonite. And then Fish Mountain is probably going to be... That's promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. 
Probably gonna be up top. Fish Mountain, Fish Mountain, Fish Mountain. Make sure that we, uh... Activate that. Three of five. I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent. But I must find a way towards or forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Well, at the I end of this world... Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. It's gonna be Fish Mountain, I think. Oh. We're getting in there, fellas! Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. At the end of this, we're learning unforgivable spells, so I I think Oh Auntie's uh plan here. Oop, this way. Auntie's plan is is or her thoughts are I not. Spotted something correct. ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. What is that? Uh, the gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Got a new note. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and I saw tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. My last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. So you need to cast... Ominous. Crucio. And Noctua's last journal entry. To get through She here. mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. And this is what his family tried to force him to do when he was a child. We need him you to save us. You said you know what to do. Tortured Cast Crucio. faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. I mean, it's either that or die. some liquid luck. All of this could have you been You want some liquid of... luck? I got five vials of it over there in the bottom right. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture. I would know. Do it Sebastian on me. told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. It's not possible. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. I don't think I will. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait. You didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. So you have the option if you want to bow out and not learn it. I want to learn it though. I want to learn but the you curse, do it on me. but I won't cast it on you. 
You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ho ho ho. Crucio! Here we go. This is the longest minigame we've had thus far. It's a jagged line just cutting through somebody's soul. Ready? I'm ready. That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made we it. Just we just neck a well potion Salazar really quick. Slytherin scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. This is Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, a secret and well-protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. This is incredible. A spell book? Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Of course, dude, he's... Ominous has got to have a hard time with this. This is... What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. We should do. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. Sebastian's a we little were lucky. concerning. We, could have died. we must swear never to do this again. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional, aka be pure blood. Not, you know, mud bloods. I, I don't even think he wanted half blood. Best news I've heard all day. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as pure blood. So I think it's it's pure versus Muggle. Half bloods are okay. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts in the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a heavy heart that I know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. So there he's talking about the basilisk. This is so cool. I mean, it's it's really sad, it's really scary. I'm gonna take a drink from his cup. Hello, hey. Getting lit like uh, old Salazar aren't used to. But, um, yeah. I mean, this... Look at Crucio written, etched into the stone. This is terrifyingly beautiful. This is so cool. All right. Well. Back to the Slytherin dungeon. That is, oh, dude, that is so cool. Holy Ominous. cow. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. 
We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. Sebastian, you're full of it, dude. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You are lying through your teeth. You are more excited about this than I am. Oh my goodness. And you know what we can do now? We can now cast Crucio. I wonder if that made an effect on us, though. I wonder if the ending has changed at all. I just wonder how that affects things. The fact that you could actively make a decision not to learn it. You can go check it out, but you don't have to learn it. Makes me a little bit concerned. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. This isn't Their awkward at all. The magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It How y'all doing? It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. Just fighting the good fight there here didn't are. do anything out of line. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? Mm. He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. I don't well, like him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. <laughs> Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I like I power. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well, a little good, a little bad, a little mix. Can't be upset with it. So this is Rookwood's castle. This is over on the south side of the map, honestly, right next to uh, Sebastian's family's house, right in that little uh, hamlet. And so we're gonna see what's going on here. Obviously, they've had a lot of gang activity around the hamlet. I would imagine all of this is pretty well connected. Now, what we do have something to talk about here and I mean, I, I feel like I already know where I want to go. I kind of feel like a bad guy, but we're going to go into our talent screen. We've been saving a bunch of talent points, and that's because I was waiting to see if we were going to use Dark Arts. And honestly, I, I just think I really want to. I think it's going to be fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to add dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. So all for one and one for all. We also have a cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. We're going to activate that. We've got a specialty for Crucio. Striking an enemy cursed by Crucio releases a projectile that curses a nearby enemy. So all of this is just like laddering on top of each other. Curses last longer. When somebody gets cursed, other people get cursed. When you hurt somebody who is cursed, 
the other people who are cursed get cursed. And then we also have this one here. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. I mean, if we're going in, we're going in. So, I feel kind of bad, but I'm also very excited. That's, uh, that's a big step Over there, Trev. Here. How you doing, Professor? What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right. But it is not a friendly alliance. As we suspected. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. We can go in silent. I brought every traveling vendor that passed through here. They never see it coming. Down for that. All right, here we go. Rookwood Castle. Bunch of enemies off to the left. Oh. Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Absurd, isn't it? Ranrock wants us to find the child, but which child? We could take every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually, we might get the right one. Cool. Sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just tell him we looked. Well, if he are. Whoop. Can't go that way. Get him here. Get one. Did we kill somebody by blowing that thing up? Okay, I didn't know you could do that. But that's pretty good. Nobody in here? We're good. I think we're good, Professor. You You can't stop Renrock's rebellion! I mean, I... Force my hand, please. Of course not. You can see the pieces flying off of them that would potentially affect other people. Professor's probably going to be upset with us. No? Okay. I thought Professor was going to say something. But I guess not. Can we get up top here? Are we going to have to... Levitate it, we're good. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I'm I love that they you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. There's trouble we in the neighborhood. We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Here we go. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Pass Crucio on, baby! Look at this, let's see. Oh, we got all three. All four are all cursed now. All five. The entire screen is just damage that I'm doing to people. This is ridiculously powerful, dude. 
We're doing damage to people that we aren't even looking at anymore. Get him, Crucial. So the thing is, is Crucio doesn't actually do that much in terms of damage. Level 24, Ashwander down. Where Crucio is really going to make a difference or, you know, any dark spell is once we get all of them combined together so we can put Crucio on and get everyone linked and then do a Vada Kedavra and kill everyone at the same time, that sort of thing. I want... Defendo is one of our best spells that I've noticed. Got him. Yeah. That's nasty. I can see it starting to come together. It's... Revelio. Still, I, we got some work to do, but I can see it. It took us so long to get to this point to unlock this. But I, I can see if you have the right combination, you can put together some pretty crazy... Not a party to attend by myself. Pretty crazy moments. This castle's huge. Enough cheesing over the... Um, the dark curses, Trev. Listen, I know, your inner self is coming out. We don't Rebellion. have to talk about it. Let's go complete this trial and maybe look like a good guy for a moment, huh? The heck? Is that Professor? He dropped down. I suppose that's the quick way down. There's something behind this. Is that... We've got to get this door open. Yeah, okay. So we've got two. There's Pretty that good. one. Like Revelio. There's this one. There's this one. There's got to be another bell around here somewhere. Oh, okay. Nice and easy. One, two, three. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? That's it, Professor. We've dealt with this before. It was like our very first cave, but... Rockwood Cellar. The second trial. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. Oh, they've been digging? Oh. That's why they're digging. They're trying to get to these trials before anybody else does. Here's their machine. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Rockwood's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? That is insane. Okay. Revelio. We need to find the portrait. It's got to be this way. I wonder if they were here first, and that's how he has it. Because he has control of this power already. He found it somewhere. He just must be trying to put the pieces together to be able to have the I whole thing. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Charles. Unfortunately, they're in your study, my Professor man. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sure. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Sorry, Professor. Connect with ancient magic. So Rainrock is kind of one step ahead of them in a sense. I would join you if I could. 
I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. See you there, buddy. Um, they didn't anticipate a goblin being able to figure out their whole puzzle. And now we're going to be the only chance they have of saving the world, I guess. We're going to beat Ranrock to figuring out the total power. Rebellion. This is an interesting start, Mr. Charles. Gotta be honest with you, I'm not really sure. What's going on? There's a portal there now. Rebellion. You wanna go get that chest before? Ingardium Leviosa. So if we look through it through here... We can search the chest. We need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Ah, I see. We can put this over here. Just like that. And now we can't move that, but... We come back this way. We can put this here. And now we've got to step up. So more uh, testing your knowledge style of things. Your wits. These are so trippy. Nobody? Activate this, that's gonna activate our portal, and we're gonna have to do something with the portal. I would imagine. We've got this giant thing here. If we walk through the portal. That the pillar way. is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Dude, this is insane. Can we go around? Wingardium Leviosa. Can I levitate this? Levioso. Oh. There we go. A little bit simpler than I thought. I thought we were going to have to move the big one or something, but no, we just had to do that. I love this so much, man. I live for this. This is great. All right. Can I Crucio... I feel like they probably wouldn't like me crucioing in this chamber. Crucio. Although crucio is not really gonna do much, is it? It's gonna crucio the other guys, so we can focus on the the big one. If we do a big attack on the big guy, does it do a? Big attack on the little guys, not really. But look at this, I'm hitting one and it's getting all of them. The Crucio is so good. And eventually we're gonna have it so that when we cast a Vada Kedavra, it kills literally everyone. All crew's down. Revelio. Gotta make sure we're looking for chests in here because the chests are usually pretty. I think this is gonna give us access to those. Yeah, the chests are hidden in these. So we've got this. We're definitely gonna have to hit that. I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Okay. we go through can we hit we can hit that again so we can keep spinning it 
Perhaps I'm to hit a mark on the far wall. That sort of thing has repositioned the archways in the past. It's for sure something to do with that. To jump around? Okay. And back to Trippy. We gotta What's have a chest in here. They are not giving us any loot this time around. So now we've got this guy, which we cannot move now, but if we go through the blue, I bet we can move. That is an enemy I cannot see. I'm gonna go back through the red. I love how aggressive he says, Crucio. So we can see them when we're in the blue world. But we cannot see them when we're in the red world. This is such a... It, I, I, I live for this, but it's just so trippy. I feel like we're in the Matrix or something. Okay, big guys are down. Shouldn't have to worry about them now. So we've got this blue world, we want to get up top. Oh my good lord. I think we want to go through red, or through blue. Activate this. No. If we pull this thing through with us? Oh, that was it. Okay. Because we want the blue side. Because you can see the bridge that way. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. We pulled it to the other dimension. Perfect. We get up here. We switch that. It brings us around. We're across. Revelio. Amazing. This is... Almost a little too much for me right now. Okay, we're good. Fight? No? Still no chests. Fight. I mean, we may as well, while we're here. Made him look stupid. Oh, there's another one. Easy enough. Okay. So we can activate this archway. This is gonna give us another of the dual. Uh, well, this is different. That turns it. got the chest down. Is that the point? We could pull the chest down as it was turning. Okay. We got that. So that's not even where we're trying to go. I was going to say, I have no idea how we're going to tr try to move forward with that. We want to move forward this way. It kind of looks like it might be towards the towards the last area-ish. Revelio. This one had no chests whatsoever. As he gets a chest. Cannot carry any more Wigan Weld potions. Well, I wonder what's coming next. Seems to be some sort of a boss battle, eh? So I can see one of these guys in this moment, but the other ones I cannot see. If I crucio you, is that gonna get the other people? Or are these just... I can't even see this, 
Oh, they just they just hurt each other. I have to guess where the attacks are going to be coming from because I can't see them. I can see them through this. Defendo Confringo, let me go through. Now I can't see that guy anymore, but there's going to be another guy over here, and we have another big one. This is cool. Confringo. This is unique, to say the least. Of course. Let me just use our big ability on him. If you kind of stay near the portal, you can see them-ish. I can't see you, so I need to come through the portal and see you here. Defendo Confringo. Of course. Defendo Confringo Crucio. That's one of our best abilities yet. I've got a feeling we're going to have to fight the boss with this whole interdimensional switching sides thing. Let me make sure. So we want to make sure we have a, I'm going to say, let's do a yellow. We're not going to need the green. I'm going to say, let's do t two reds, yellow and purple. Use all the abilities we've got, baby. We know exactly what we're doing here. We've seen this before. We know as soon as he starts to charge up an orb, we hit it with that color. Honestly, we need to get all this ancient magic in here. Yellow. Hit it with the big dog. Perfect. Let's grab this ancient magic. Let's hit it with the big eggs. Oop, don't get too close there, Chubb. Block it. With the stupefy, there it is. Again. Use your ability. This guy's a level 23, but he's a behemoth. Stay out of the range of that. Just keep hitting with your 10 times combos. You're on a 24 combo right now. You're good, baby. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Go ahead and charge something up. Nope. All right. I'll stupefy you back. Stupefy? Stupefy. Stupefy. We got quite the combo going. We got a 60 combo, baby. To be honest, Stupefy. this one was easier than the first one. There it is. Give me the ancient magic. I don't know if it was easier because it was just straight up easier or if it's just because we kind of knew what to expect. I felt like it did a lot of the same attacks back to back to back. This is always a cool moment. Make sure we get our chest. Revelio. Nothing else important. This is the second of four. Did some bad and some good today. I must say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. Did she heal I've the people? something to show you. Her father. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. This is not good.
Unless she's just taking his memory. Isadora. No. I wish it was that easy. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. She figured out a way to take pain. There's no way that's a good thing. No, no shot. That is going to backfire. You guys seen the Fantastic Beasts movies? There's no way. How you doing, Fig? We're You're two back. out of four. And in one piece, no less. Doing okay. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? I think so. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. Our third portrait. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Okay. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. So back to class we go. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully, you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. What an incredible day, man. We learned an unforgivable curse. We took down the second trial. It's now winter time at Hogwarts. A lot of things to be very excited about. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. The grind continues. I'll see you in the next episode.